guys. So I want to before the, we start the video and get into it, I want to give a bit of an explanation for those of you guys that have been sticking around to us. I checked and somehow we still have like three or four channel members. You guys are the goats for that. I didn't think anybody was going to really stick around for too much longer um, or for too long because we haven't uploaded an investigation video in 2024 yet. Uh, also bear with me, it's going on like 3 o'clock in the morning. This video that you guys are about to see, it was filmed in 2023. But just a little bit, like trying to make a long story short, um, we, still, we still will be doing ghost hunting. A lot of people think that we quit, but we didn't. This stuff is very expensive to do it on a scale of which we were doing that and many of others do it, uh, where we travel like out of state frequently to like most of our videos aren't shot even close to where we're at or even in the same state. But as much as we love doing it and as much as we wish we could do it nonstop, there is a a financial catch to all that kind of stuff. I made the decision to slow down on paranormal investigating and uh, start doing like photography and videography work for like other people. We just gotta get that money flow back up. YouTube, TikTok, all that stuff, it just, it wasn't paying for nothing. And some, honestly, it wasn't even paying for gas half the time. We're, I'm not gonna beg for money. I'm not gonna beg for gifts. Uh, none of that kind of stuff. So I just decided that I needed to figure something else out. And I can definitely understand why some of you guys thought that we weren't gonna be doing ghost hunting anymore. Because like I said, for Christ's sake, you know we're already in we're already in May, and we haven't done a video yet. It wasn't super active, but we did get some pretty cool stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take the good parts from that night because um, it wasn't a very active night, which is why I wasn't sure if I was actually going to drop it or not. And uh, I'm going to show you guys. So this isn't a very long video. It's kind of like pretty much it's something just to let you guys know that we're still alive, essentially. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you again at the end of the video. How's it going guys so right behind me the American Legion in Salem Illinois a lot of you guys know this is the old train depot building but is now known as the American Legion or the Luther B easily post 128 but this place we heard by the staff and the guy who runs it, the commander of the Legion, that they believe it is haunted. So, we're gonna come in here tonight and we're gonna see what all we can get. I will say, as a disclaimer, this is not my first time being here and investigating it, as when I found out, I wanted to check it out. This place really is haunted. I've already gotten EVPs in here. I've heard disembodied voices, disembodied whispering. Uh, we've had REM pod activity, cabal activity, flashlight activity, uh, tripwire activity. Um, what's some other things? I've seen a, a couple different shadow figures in here. Um, I've seen one walking through that door back there. And then I've seen another one peeking his head around the corner. And when I said that, the commander his eyes lit up because that's something that he frequently sees also and he forgot to mention that to me when he's telling me what all happens here yeah so there is there's some pretty wild claims here and i'm hoping that we can show you guys tonight and prove to you guys that the salem american legion is in fact haunted we're probably going to start this off with a quiet abandonment if nothing really happened then i probably won't show that but Let's get to the quiet abandonment. These spirits here, 
they are a little tricky. They're definitely here. I have personally seen and heard them on nights that I've been up here that you know we weren't filming or nothing. So I know they're here, but when it comes to devices and stuff, a lot of times they will wait until you're not paying attention. Or like this time, I, my camera battery died and I went in there to get the another camera battery and the damn music box started going off. But so they like to be a little they like to be a little funny. Um, they like to play hard to get. <laughs> music box went off again. We did a little pre-investigation earlier, um, off the record, not filming or nothing. And we asked them if they would talk to us later and explain that we we're gonna be filming and whatnot and asked them to set a device off if they're okay with us filming here tonight. They set a device off and we asked them to set another device off if they would talk to us tonight and try to communicate back with us. And they set the device off that we asked them to. But we just recently started filming. I think I'm gonna try to grab some EVPs and see if we can't get them to tell us what they want us to use. Uh, we have multiple devices out. We've been hearing some sounds. We haven't been filming very long. I don't know what the abandonment caught yet. Later on, we will be doing a spirit box abandonment. But uh, so far, it's been more of like listening. And you may hear some kind of noises, like a little knock or whatever. And then every now and then you'll get some kind of device activity. There's also something about this hallway that we got the trip wire down. That's just really eerie for some reason. It just feels like you're going to look down there and there's always going to be, like there's going to be something just standing there staring right back at you like. I will say that's another weird thing about this place. Is that it constantly feels like someone's peeking around the corner at you, mm. like kind yeah. of watching you. Feel like you. you're being watched the whole time. All right. Well, you guys know what this is. I'd really like it if you guys could talk to us. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, I have this voice recorder going. What? Do you know this building as? Where are we? Do you remember my name? Did you hear that? <laughs> I swear to God, it sounded like there's walking in the kitchen. By chance, did I just hear you walking over there behind like the bar area towards the kitchen? Ending. All right, guys, so on a serious note, my two aunts or my mom's two sisters, they, uh, my aunt, she works here and she's got to be here for the, uh, the silent alarm and stuff like that, because this place does have an alarm system. So you can't just come up here and break in. Um, you won't even know the alarm's going off because it's a silent alarm. You'll go to try to rob everything and you'll go outside and there'll be cops waiting on you outside. But, uh, so she's got to be up here to reset that. But, uh, they're in the office building, or the office up there. And, honestly, I thought one of them was just going to come around that corner. Oh, holy cow, what's going on? You see that? Is it still going? Mm-hmm. Just that one. The third from the end. Mm -hmm. And we had that problem earlier with this this one down here, but we switched everything. Right. Hey, can you step away from that, please? Go to a different one? It stopped for a second. Like now. Mm-hmm. Hey, can you move to a different one? What is even going on with that?
Yeah, I don't think that would have been crystal over there because I was about to say I'm thinking about walking her to make sure see if they came out, mm-hmm. but for something or whatever. But the deal is, we would have heard that door back there open, the, right. um, office door. And I feel like she wouldn't have just walked in without mm-hmm. saying like, "Hey, it's me. I forgot something." Oh, it is a different one. It's a different it had, one. It came this way and then went back that way and then that one started lighting up. No way. And that's red. That's the highest. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind, guys, this is all, uh, this is concrete floors. Let me make sure you guys are also getting this. Yes, yeah, see? Come on, focus, man. There we go. All right, can you switch now? Oh, it's starting to lose focus. Not focus, but. Can you get closer to me? It's still red, but it keeps on changing like, I don't know, it's like a little miniature jump back and forth to red to. I just heard a thump back there. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go over what we may have just captured. That was crazy, though. Mm-hmm. You said any of these other devices off? No, 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 hold up. What do you know this building is? Where are we? Tell me, very, very light, but Almost right what after I asked it. Do you know this building as? Where are we? Did you hear it? I heard it from over here. What do you know this building as? Where are we? What? Do you know this building as? Where are we? Where are we? You hear it? Barely. Yeah, it's... Yeah. And that's a different voice than what me and Crystal heard the other day. That's a completely different voice. That may be... Uh, Albert, I think he passed away in this building when it was the train depot. I think, guys, what we are going to do is I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we may do, we'll probably do a spirit box abandonment this time with a few other devices on this middle table here. I don't know why, but I just want to do it on this middle table. So we're going to move this stuff off of it and then put devices on it with the spirit box and do a spirit box abandonment and then come back in and probably try a Estes method or something because this, this location, it seriously is haunted. It really is. But they, they're not used to people regularly in here trying to communicate with them. Uh, they may not know how to use the devices. Um, the only thing I can think of is they may be shy around us and they may come out with us not being around and communicate through the spirit box because we're not in here talking to them. So we may be able to figure out what's going on with them, why they're shy. They may tell us their whole life story on the spirit box, essentially like what happened at like uh, Tipsy's where we found out 
a whole bunch of history that no one knew about just from one tiny segment in a spirit box abandonment. So, I don't know, we tried looking up history on this place, and we, you know, we're going to do some more digging and see what happens, but if the spirits can tell us themselves, then that would work out better for everybody. So, let's get to that. Let me go tinkle, and then um, we'll start the abandonment. So that was uh, that was pretty interesting, honestly. And the reason why I say that is because that tripod, I've been using that tripod now for like the past, I don't know, at least eight investigations, you know? And even other stuff other than investigations. And I've never had any issues with it no issues with it like that and it's just weird to me that the tripod fell like that you know what I'm saying and the spirit box you know said the goodbye and some other stuff and then the spirit box right just cut off as soon as it fell for like a good 20 seconds or so give or take 15 20 seconds and just cuts back on never had any issues with that spirit box so i don't know you know you can make up your own opinions on it let let us know in the comments what you guys think and hopefully here soon we'll be filming another paranormal documentary for you guys and can get it uploaded pretty soon we have quite a few different places and ideas in mind for residentials and other more well-known places but uh yeah we're not done we just uh we we're forced to slow down some obstacles but uh 
definitely appreciate you guys who have been sticking around and checking up on us making sure everything's going all right but thank you guys for watching if you stuck around this long and you're new here go ahead and consider subscribing because obviously you watch the whole video for a reason and yeah see you guys in the next one